Hey there guys, Sink Snack here, welcoming you guys back to the channel here with another TV show review. And uh, if you couldn't tell by the different background, uh, of course, we are reviewing, well I am reviewing the uh, first episode of series 11 of Doctor Who. Now, I was going to review it Game Lord and I, but due to time constraints and all that, so Game Lord and I will be uh, in the second review in the review for the second episode which uh, will be next week so be sure to tune in for that but today we're going to be talking about the first episode the girl who fell to earth now before we get started uh, just know that in any reviews no spoilers in it and uh, if you agree or disagree with it that's fine this is just my silly personal opinion so as with all our reviews take this with a little bit of grain of salt and if you agree or disagree, whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. But in the meantime, let's get started. If you do want to keep seeing these reviews on the channel, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. So let's dive in into the girl who fell to Earth. Now, this uh, this episode starts off like it just immediately picks up right where the uh, the lot, like the Christmas special left off, which is what we last saw Jolly Whitaker, Jolly Whitaker's doctor, basically with no TARDIS, no sonic screwdriver, and about to head into an alien invasion with the help of uh, three new companions, who uh, at first, when I first saw them, I thought were, well, as soon as I saw one of them, I thought was a bit you know, off balance, but actually all three of them are actually pretty good, uh, with the three being uh, Ryan Sinclair, a uh, guy who I think had, actually who has like this, uh, like this we uh, this uh, like medical diagnosed disorder that uh, makes him unable to do like uh, some normal things or to keep balance and all that. Uh, there's Graham, who I thought was the odd one out, but Actually, actually at the start, but actually I kind of grew to like him as the uh, episode went on, who uh, is actually Ryan's grandfather by marriage, I think, because he's married to him. Anyway, and uh, Yasmin Cole, a uh, police woman who, like, wants, wants more, like, wants more interesting and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, well, of course, I can't talk about Doctor Who without mentioning the Doctor. I mean, with, and this is going, as soon as this came on, this was a controversial one, because, well, as you could tell, if you didn't see the, like, our reactions to the trailers, I'll, first of all, leave men, them in the description down below, and second off, you would know that a lot of the, uh, controversy around Jodie Whittaker's doctor of her being like, oh, she's a woman, she shouldn't be a doctor, she shouldn't be a doctor, bring back men, doctor who's got everything and all that sort of stuff. But now that we've actually had an episode, now that we've actually seen what Jodie Whittaker's doctor is like, I gotta give it to her. I really like her. Now, a lot of you people can think I can go SJW all you want, but the fact still remains that Jodie Whittaker is a very good doctor. She actually... I think I'm right in saying that she's probably one of the most physical doctors, like physical in terms of like stunts and all that sort of stuff. And uh, she's actually reminds me of uh, Matt Smith as well, like the charismatic, the energetic, actually the charismatic, energetic, a uh, doctor who likes to tell a joke every now and then. And actually, which uh, is another good thing about this uh, episode, is actually in the direction where this is going, it's actually really funny. It was actually funnier than I expected. I mean, a lot. I mean, you could tell that uh, Chris Chibnall, who uh, is uh, now the showrunner, if you look at his like uh, episodes that he wrote, instead of the episodes that he actually instead of like if you compare it to like the episodes like the power free the dinosaurs in a spaceship and stuff like that 
you compare that to this, you will immediately tell that he's actually learned from those and he's actually started to embrace a lot of like trying new ideas. And speaking of new ideas, I mean, uh, you can't have a doc, you can't have a doctor without a bit. If you go up against anything, Actually, you can't have a doctor who without a pro an antagonist. And the antagonist in this, first of all, if you expect if you're expecting Dalek Cyberman sometimes, any of the original like classic who villains, then. <coughs> Apologies, but you're not going to get that during this season because the first season, none of it, none of the like classic who villains are in it. It's all just going to be new ones. And I was hesitant at first, but when I saw this new villain, uh, Sim Shah or Tim Shaw, <laughs> of the of a warrior race called the Stenza, I actually really liked him. I mean, he had a creepy look. He was very uh, intimidating, and uh, I actually started to actually. I actually think that the, like this film was actually a step in the right direction, and uh, as well as the villain. I mean, the only other thing that's more iconic than the Doctor, the Sonic Screwdriver, well, even the TARDIS, or the villains, is the Fiend. Now the Fiend in this doesn't come until the end of the episode, which I gotta give him credit, does, uh, I will admit, is actually a good idea for a first episode. If they continue that for the second episode, then I would want to change it back, but as far as I can tell, I think Chris Chibnall has said that the second episode does have the uh, type, like the full, like, intro, which, uh, will be something to look forward to uh, for the next week's review to find out how that is. But the music, I think the music, like the intro music, is probably the best intro music of modern Who. Reasons why? It's both new and old, it's both new and old at the same time, so that old Who fans, like classic Who fans, modern Who fans are both happy because it also marks the return of like the, uh, I think, five notes, five piece, whatever the five things called, like the Wii, like the sort, the sort of sound of the classic Who, like we uh, Fairman, it's like, it's the Fairman, it is, the Fairman has come back, but, uh, what was it going to Oh yeah, uh, as I say a lot of good things about this episode, there are two things that, uh, to me, were, uh, like, held, hold this back from being, like, the best first episode of, like, a new Doctor. And those are, uh, those are the fact that, uh, Whilst the plot is easy, it is a little bit on the clumsy side in terms of like character motivation and all that sort of stuff. Like, uh, for example, there's a sequence where. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say. But uh, one of the film's motivations and one of the film's plans, you immediately start to question why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? And it just sort of gets a little bit uh, clumsy at times. It doesn't get it at it all the time, but only at certain times does the plot actually become a little bit clumsy. As well as that, uh, I felt that at certain times, like toward, like a little bit uh, either at the start, actually a little bit at the start and a little bit towards the end, the pacing of it, the pacing of the episode was a little bit off. Like, it either went too slow or too quickly, and it just felt, uh, like, off balance. But those two things are just, like, mere, like, tiny nitpicks that I'm sure that Chris Chibnall will actually sort out as the rest of the season goes on. So, with that, time for the final verdict. Uh, I give the Doctor Who Season 11... Well, series 11 premiere. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a great introduction to 
the new to a new doctor, the compa actually the dynamic between the doctor and the three new companions is probably one of the best things of this. And I like the interesting villains and all, but if they could if they could fix the pacing, if they could have fixed the pacing and they could have reworked the plot a little bit, then it would have been a ten out of ten. But eight out of ten is still good. Though, despite that, it's probably the same reason that I did for Sword Art Online, episode 1. But those are my thoughts on the new season premiere of Doctor Who. What did you guys think? Uh, whatever your thoughts, whatever your opinions, leave in the comments down below. And apart from that, I'm afraid it's now time to end today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, Please do us a favor and smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and if you are not new, then do not forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified on all of our upcoming videos. And apart from that guys, we'll see you in the next video. So until then, it's your boy Saints Knights, signing off.